네, 수요일로 오후 5시엔 엘프 TV 콩자만 쇼. 지금 바로 시작합니다. 합니다. 네, 네, 주희 씨. 아, 네. 진짜 행복하게 보냈어요. 너무 잘 보낸 것 그래요? 같아요. 그래요? 네, 이렇게 제가 좀 통통해진 것 같지 않나요? 어, 그런 것 같아. <웃음> 그 주희 씨 얼굴이. 네. 네. 달달한 보름달 같네 어, 특별하게 아 진짜 그러네 음, 너무 잘 먹어서 음. 엄마 손맛에 그냥 뽀얗게 된 거를 보름달로 <웃음> 표현해 주셔서 감사합니다 예 네. 얼굴에 그냥 보름달이 딱 떴습니다 너무 보기 좋아요 <웃음> 가족들도 뭐다 만나시고 그렇죠 명절에는 음. 뭐다 같이 모여서 윷놀이도 음. 하고 송편도 비춰보고 음. 이것저것 안 되면 그냥 맛있는 거 시켜서 드시는 분들도 계실 거고 음. 그냥 그 자체로만으로 즐겁지 그래요. 않겠어요 파 많이 안 밀렸어요? 엄청 밀렸어 그러니까 파 엄청, 엄청 밀려 근데 그래도 그 정말 오랜만에 음. 그 먹어보는 그 엄마의 손맛 크... 고향의 그정 눈물 난다 그걸로 인해서 그냥 그 음. 교통의 그 복잡함이라 그러나 어... 그런 거나 다 쉽게 내려가는 것 같기도 해요 그래요 네. 아 우리 요정님들도 그죠 아마 추석 때잘 아, 네. 명절 잘 세셨을 겁니다 네네네 네, 네. 인사 한번 할까요 요정님들한테 그래요 요정님들 한가위 잘 보내셨나요 그래요 잘 건강하셨으면 합니다. <웃음> 아이고. 그래요 추석 맞아서 여러분들 건강하시고 음. 좋은 일만 정말 둥실둥실한 그런 달처럼 환한 일만 있으셨으면 합니다 그렇습니다 네. 그렇습니다 자 오늘의 게스트는 사실 월스톤 발음 괜찮았어요? 오, <웃음> 굉장히 좋았어요 네. 네. 어마, 어마, 어마 무시한 분입니다 네. 이분이 콩자만 쇼를 네. 찾아주셨답니다. 이거 말이 됩니까 이거? 정말 FTV가 네. 추석을 맞아서 우리 요정님들한테 정말 큰 선물을 드린 것 같아요. 그러니까. 아, 저 잠을 못 잤잖아. 저 저도 저도 그랬어요. 아, 너무 떨려가지고. 나 얼굴 해숙하지 않아? 아 지금 그래 보여 지금. 참 해숙해. 저 저는 이게 너무 너무 이게 그 표현할 수 없는 그 순간. 네. 맞아요. 좀 떨리기도 그러니까 하고. 이게 세계적인 아티스트를 음. FTV에서 모실 수 있다라는 거는. 그러니까. 아, 영광입니다. 그리고 근데 연주를 굉장히 막 찾아봤는데 뭐 잠깐 실물 보고 너무 깜짝 놀랐잖아. 음, 너무 잘생겼어. 잘생겼어. 너무 잘생겼고 연주도 말할 것도 없고. 한번 그걸 봐요. <웃음> <웃음> 정말 말이 필요 없는 분입니다. 음. 세계적인 정말 완전 탑, 원더풀, 정말 퍼펙트한 그런 아티스트입니다. 네, 엘프의 모델인 워린이를 워린이, 모셨, 워린이. 모셨습니다. 오, 평범한 소리. First of all, I can't believe it's 10 years. Oh, wow. wow. Where did the time go? I don't know. 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 그렇지 않습니다. <웃음> 어. 너무 러블리. 굉장히 떨렸습니다. 오랜이 앞에 나왔다. It was my best day. <웃음> 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 안녕하세요. <웃음> to all the viewers. Bounce, bounce. <웃음> 아, 어떻게 <웃음> 어. 심장이 너무 떨려요. 그러니까 Very uh, elegant. Oh. Better dressed than me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <웃음> Thank you. <웃음> 어서 오세요. 정말 이렇게 네. 자리를 해주셔서 너무나 영광입니다. 음. 우리 저 에, 코리안 그 싱어. Yes. <웃음> 박주희. <웃음> 어떠세요? 보니까. Yes, I heard that. Very famous, <laughs> oh, oh, very nice. popular, <laughs> incredible singer. Ah, no, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not <웃음> 자, 워렌 힐은 1966년 캐나다 토론토에서 은예! 하고 태어났어요. 어허. 그때부터 색소폰이 사랑에 빠졌을지도 몰라요. 그러다가 1988년 보스턴의 버클리 음악대학의 졸업식에서 공연을 하던 중에 그에게 반한 음반 프로듀서 러스 티텔만에게 
핑미 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 업 됐다고 합니다. 그때 발탁이 되어서 샤카칸의 앨범 녹음에 참여할 기회를 얻었는데요. 그 기회에 성공의 맛을 찍먹하며 스타 연주가의 삶에 발을 담그게 됩니다. 음. 그렇게 그는 1989년 로스앤젤레스로 이사한 후에 1989년 RCA와 계약을 맺고 키스 언더도 문으로 데뷔를 했는데요. 재즈 음악뿐만 아니라 1993년 영화 바디 오브 에비던스의 더 패션 댐이라는 곡으로 히트를 치면서 음. 전 세계의 워런 힐의 존재를 알리게 됩니다. 음. 현재요. 곧 환갑의 나이를 아, 진짜? 믿기지 않습니다. 환갑? 예, 지금 지금 진짜 제가 여러 번 봤어요. 어. 예, 환갑의 나이지만 그 연주와 또 공연 기획에 대한 열정은 누구 못지 않다고 합니다. 음. 특히나 그의 딸 올리비아 록스는 세계적인 뮤지션으로 활동하고 있다고 합니다. 어. No, I agreed with everything she said, actually. <웃음> 제 준비를 잘했네요. Uh, 네. Well, when someone tells you the story and then you kind of sit there and as I could hear the words, I didn't understand the Korean, but I, I could hear the words and I could hear Russ Tidelman, I could hear Shaka Khan. The only one missing was my also my first tour uh, when my record first record came out was getting to open up for Natalie Cole for her that time it was the Unforgettable tour, the Unforgettable album and uh, So the very first time I'm on tour, I'm in front of 3,000, 10,000 people every night uh, performing my music with Natalie Cole, which was just, you know, playing Radio City Music Hall in mm -hmm. New York and uh, amazing establishments. So when you say it all, I go back 32, 33 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Feels like I just did it. Life is so short, you know. It's just amazing to hear it all again. I go, oh yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. Yeah. 만명 정도 모아 모여놓고 연 공연하면 얼마나 좋겠어. 흥분될까. 섹스폰 연주자라면 사실 저도 이 오렌일이 연주하신 거를 많이 봤어요. 예를 들어 뭐 My Love이나 Hey Jude 뭐 Desperado 같은 거 듣는데 제가 제일 좋아하는 거는 70년도 80년도에 유행했던 Commodores라는 그룹이 있는데 라이언 리치가 부르는 Easy. 어. 이지를 연주한 게 있어요. 아, 정말 이지 기가 막힙니다. 어. 네. Unbelievable. I, that's the one word that I recognized that he that he said. Um, yeah, that was uh, a lot of fun with and Larry Carlton on the on the guitar. Yeah, yeah. Larry Carlton, a very famous guitar player from the Crusaders, played on that song as well. I love that song. 그분들하고도 많이 좀 이렇게 아시나 친한 사이예요. Sometimes just we we see each other on uh, events, jazz festivals, things like that. You know, it's like hi, you know, oh. backstage. Um, but uh, it's been a while since I since I've seen him. Maybe a few, you know, several years. Mm, yeah. 일단은 버클리 음대 들어갔다는 것만으로도 굉장한 성공인데. 음, 그렇죠. 특히나 그 졸업식 날 프로듀서한테 선택을 받았을 음. 때그 기분 어떠셨어요? 그러니까. 그때 핑미가 네. 되셨다고 하니까. Well, it, it was pretty, uh, you know, mind blown, right? Uh, when it happened, because um, I was just I performed in the commencement ceremony, and I had a, a few solo pieces uh, that I had to play. When it was over, I was looking for my parents who were in the audience. So I went out front of the theater, mm -hmm. out on the street, just looking for my parents. Mm -hmm. And suddenly someone says, Warren. And I turn around and mm -hmm. there's, it's Russ Teitelman. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know who he, I didn't know what he looked like. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, hi, I'm Russ Teitelman. And I, but I knew who he was, wow. I, like big, Big time. And I, I said, "Oh my God, what are you doing here?" You know, and he was there to see because we honored the music of Dave Grusin, and uh, and he just literally came out and said, "I'm producing Shaka Khan's new record. Do you want to play on it?" Mm -hmm. and, you know, I so I forgot about my parents. You know, um, no, but my that was the first record I ever played on, and it's incredible because I was on a record with. Miles Davis, Prince, Luther Vandross, Dave Grusin, it's Shaka Whoa. Khan, of course. Oh. Um, I can't even think, there's so many, so many, Marcus Miller, uh, just oh. so many incredible music. 
a lot of musicians who have died already, mm. but that was my first record to be on with all those people on the same record. Oh, oh and Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Stevie Wonder was on it too. Yeah. 6만 들어 눈 봐. 세계적인 스타가 막 나오네요. 와, 진짜 대단하시네요. 어. 와, 그때 기분 정말 표현을 못 했겠네. 음. 아무리 봐도 음. 제가 이렇게 이렇게 보면서 음. 1966년생이라는 게 믿기지가 않을 정도. 잘못된 거 아니야, 조사가. 아니 근데 이렇게 세계적인 음. 그렇잖아요, 저희가 세계적인 아, 10년은 밑으로 다운되는 거 같은데. 되면은 굉장히 이제 연륜과 음. 음악적인 그게 굉장히 오래됐을 거라고 생각하는데 그냥 그냥 오빠 같아. 아, 예 영보 영보. 어 너무나 진짜 너무나 영하고 그러니까 힙하다 그래야 되나? 그러니까. 굉장히 그런 느낌이 젊음의 느낌. 잘 생기고 멋있는 사람이 잘 불어요. 아니면 좀 못생긴 사람도 잘 불어. 요 왜냐면 <웃음> 나이가 믿어지지가 않아. 잘 생겼다고 생각하시는. <웃음> Just the fit part. Just the fit part. Yeah. No, I, well, I've always been um, jogging since I was uh, seven, maybe with my dad, my father. Every morning, I had a newspaper job, deliver the newspapers to the houses. So I'd get up at uh, six o'clock and go do my newspapers for about 50 houses. And, and then my father and I would go jogging. For about oh. uh, three miles, like five five kilometers, every morning mm. since I was age seven. So now uh, I'm 58. I can't I can't run every day. I still run, but I have to run, and I I I can't do the long distance. So I just I do sprints. Mm. So I go out for maybe like a five kilometer walk, mm. and then I do about ten sprints in there. Uh, but it's all oh. just to keep, I got to keep my lungs working well, right? Oh. To, to play the oh. way I want to play. Because I, I, push, I push a lot of air, a lot of volume of air when I'm performing. Exercise is important. I don't do enough uh, weights. I need to do more weights, but you know. 사람 똑같은가 봐. 그죠? 왜냐면 이거 건강한 게 사실은 아름답고 멋있는 거니까 기초적으로. 저는 에어로비 가거든요. I'm Arab. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Well, first of all, I just wanted to say that that's one of the secrets about being a musician, though. Mm. Um, music keeps you young, oh. it, and and performing music, mm. I think, keeps you young. Mm. You know, oh, because yeah. it just keeps you. Mm. Youth is like vitality, right? Mm. And and the music gives me vitality, mm. makes me just. <gasps> so, uh, that's why I love I love to perform. 그래서 이렇게 멋있으시구나. 자 그러면 이거 사실 되게 어려운 얘기란 말이죠. 음. 우리가 오래일께서 사실은 아무 데서나 이렇게 연주하시는 분이 아니란 말이에요. 그렇죠? 저도 저 그러니까. 네, 그러니까 어디 공연장이나 네. 기획된 공연장에서 멋있게 연주하시는 분인데 네. 이런 스튜디오에 와서 연주를 한 그런 기억이 아. 있어요? 있나요? Oh yes, but oh. many times, um, but uh, not for such a beautiful lady and a handsome man. <웃음> <웃음> 분위기가 yeah. 너무 yeah. 좋으니까 yeah. 정말 죄송하지만 연주를 부탁드려도 될까요? Yeah. Yes. Um, so this song, speaking of my daughter, Olivia Rox, yeah, yeah. she wrote this song. Mm. And it's the first song that she's written that I've, that I've uh, performed. We were in the studio recording her record. Oh. And uh, my wife says, live band, everyone's there. The drummer, the bass, the whole, all the musicians. Olivia's singing the song. They finished. Mm. It sounded great. Everyone's like, yeah, oh. this is great. Oh. And my wife says, hey, Warren, go get your saxophone. <laughs> and I'm like, why? And she says, I just have a feeling. I want to hear you play this mm. on your saxophone. Oh. And so I'm like, okay, fine. So I take it up. <laughs> and then they press go and I start playing it. Mm. And I've never played it before. But mm. I, I knew the song because oh. I was helping produce the song. So I, I knew the melody. So I'm sitting there just like closing my eyes, trying to, okay, what's, this, what's the melody? And I'm playing it. And the whole time I think I'm just, mm. to concentrate, sometimes mm. if my eyes are closed, it's like I'm <laughs> thinking more, right? And I'm just doing this and I finish the whole song mm. and then I open my eyes and everyone's just sitting there like this. Oh. They're all just like, and the whole room, everyone just gets, oh. claps. And then they said, you've got to play that on, you got to play that on your mm. record. Mm. Um, so it was about maybe a year later, I wanted to make another, record another song. And my wife said, I don't, I said, I don't know what to do. She goes, yeah, you do. You're going to do Olivia's song mm -hmm. from the studio. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh yeah. So that's how it, 
that's how it happened. And it, the amazing thing, when I'm playing the song, it's, it really feels like I get very emotional when I play it because it feels like a song that I would have written. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, it it's literally just feels like a, a saxophone song for, mm -hmm. for me. And of course, my daughter, who, who knows better, you know, than my daughter for what kind of song I need. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's very sentimental for me. 하지만 네. 그 아내가 이게 서예 유리 같아. 그거잖아 그, 단장님한테 좀 잠깐 와봐 녹음실로 그러니까. 그래서 봐. 바로 녹음한 거 아니에요? 아, 그거 아니야, 그거 아니야. <웃음> 
말을 못하겠어. Could you hear <웃음> Olivia? She was singing. That's. <웃음> oh, 멋있다. 너무 적절하게 가슴에 뭔가 어택이 그게 크게 이렇게 팍온것 같은. Wonderful, amazing, wow. 딸 너무 예쁘죠. 딸딸 자랑 한번 해줘. 친구 월요일 일보다 딸이 더 유명하다고. Well, do we have? Three more hours. <laughs> She's uh, look. It's it's amazing. You never know what your children are going to become. But um, Olivia, she started when she was six months old. Mm. Uh, she came on the road. So back then, this was 1999. I was doing a lot of touring, probably six months mm. per year on the road. So we all, my wife and, and my daughter, when she was just a little baby, we were on the road together. Mm -hmm. And she grew up around musicians. Oh. And just backstage and oh. musicians showing her, you know, oh. how to play things. Oh. And, and, uh, but we didn't want her to be a musician. We did not want her mm -hmm. to go in the music business. So it was always like, no, nope, study your math and your science and, your, and do gymnastics. And, do everything, but she wanted the music lessons. She mm -hmm. wanted to play. Mm -hmm. And we have piano at the home. And when she was four years old, mm -hmm. so this is a crazy story. When she was four years old, she was outside playing in the uh -huh. backyard. And she came running in the house, straight to the piano, mm -hmm. and sits at the piano and says, bum, bum, bam, bum, mm -hmm. finding the note, and then she da, da, finds uh -huh. the note, da, da, and she finds the next one. She was playing Hey Jude. Oh. She heard it in her mind and she came running in and figured out what it was on the piano. And I'm sitting in the other room with my wife and we're like, what the? What? And we, we got her a piano teacher, a music instructor, and he taught her how to uh, write her own songs. At four years old, oh. and she started writing songs mm. at four. Wow. Um, now she's 25, mm. and she has 400 songs mm. that she's written. Um, she has five top 40 hits on U.S. pop radio. She has two Christmas song hits oh. in pop radio in oh. the U.S. She has uh, she's got her second sec two records out. She has a. Mm. a, a third and a fourth project coming out. Mm -hmm. And she wrote a science fiction novel, a book. Um, so even if she, if she wanted to do music, you still have to know all the foundation of knowledge. Ah, that's not easy. Ah, that's not easy. You do a lot of Guarantee, pay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really curious. It's funny because, yeah, uh, uh, jazz music. Um, <laughs> uh, but she had her first uh, pop single, uh, which broke, which went top 40. Um, I saw her royalty check, the first royalty check that came in. So it was jazz with one more zero next to it. It was it was ten times more than than what I would make. Um, yeah, pop. You have to love jazz music to do jazz music because it's you don't do jazz music for the money. Looks <laughs> 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 <laughs>
and I was, I took my saxophone and my guitar to this, the, it was a summer music school uh, for six weeks. Mm. And I was so inspired by the saxophone that I just, mm. my guitar was in the closet the whole time and I never played it and I just uh, concentrated on saxophone. And when I went home, I quit my rock band mm. and I started a jazz fusion band. Mm instead and so from basically 17 on I, I was full-time saxophone. Mm -hmm. Rock band and jazz band and the feeling of the music, how do you Just the songs, mm -hmm. honestly, you know, mm -hmm. because when I was in a rock band we were very focused on being musical excellence, even though it was rock. Actually the the bass player in that band, the both of us moved, and the drummer, we all moved into doing the jazz music. But we had the same approach. We wanted to be excellent at the jazz as well. Uh, jazz just has more uh, chords, you know, um, but you, you do this, you have that same approach. That's why I always loved bands like, uh, like Rush, because Rush was, they were a rock band, but they approached it very precisely and at a very high level of musicianship. Mm -hmm. And they were always, they, they played the, same, the song the same way every night, every performance, mm -hmm. that, the way it was on the record. But um, it's that high level of, uh, of performance that, that really, that I came to respect and then I, I use that same uh, philosophy when I play jazz as well. 우리나라에서 재즈 밴드 하는 그 분들을 보면 네. 쉽게 얘기해서 뭐 즉흥 연주 같은 그런 느낌으로 어, 하는 어, 팬들이 많단 말이에요. 에이. 근데 지금 다양한 부분에 대해서 이미 다 많은 걸 알고 계시네요. 그러니까요. 그러니까 뭐 네. 함부로 접근을 할수 없는. 잘못 얘기했다간 망신당할 것 같아 아주 말을 못할 정도로 저는 음악적인 장르를 이미 어릴 때부터 다 하고 계신 것 같아요. I agree that I think the jazz the definition of jazz I believe is improvisation. Uh, you know, we're taking uh, even artists like Coltrane, Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, they would take traditional like uh, popular songs and turn them into jazz songs. And really, the only difference was they'd play the melody, but then they'd go into improvisation. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of my music now, even though I'm referred to as a jazz musician, mm -hmm. I really f consider myself just an instrumentalist, yeah. you know, because the jazz for me isn't on the recordings, mm -hmm. it's in my live performance. In the live performance, that's where I improvise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do the jazz part of my of my music. Great, great, all right. I am saxophone, uh, baby chicken. Pia, pia. <laughs> uh, I am a uh, saxophone children. I am a uh, saxophone kindergarten, you children. Uh, you okay? okay. Uh, so I'm a uh, want to question. The saxophone I have been teaching for a long time, but it's very difficult to practice when you're doing it. It's very difficult to do 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 it. <laughs> well, you know, you could try uh, uh, use a stopwatch and see if you can beat your own world record, you know, like you can hold the note for 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 40 or 50 or three minutes, you know, or two hours. Um, that's one way to make it interesting, long, uh, long tones. And you could try doing it on one leg, you know, standing on one leg, you know, or... You could try doing it upside down, you know, or oh, laying on the floor. You could try to do a long tone. So there's a lot of things you can do to make it more fun. Fun. You could do it in the in the bathtub. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I got a very good uh, discipline about the importance of practicing, even from when I was young. Um, you know, my it's always your uh, your instructor, your early instructor who are the most important because they're the ones that have to instill the, the desire and, and teach you that 
if you do practice, you will get results. You'll get better. And uh, I did a lot of practicing at Berkeley. Uh, there was, after our first year, uh, the first two semesters, in the summertime, all the students would go home. I stayed in Boston and I just sat in a practice room six hours a day. Six I practiced hours. for six in a little room oh. like this. When everyone, but that, that was for two and a half months. Um, and just in those two and a half months, my playing went from here to here. I, I can do it. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. because I, I know I know what you mean. I I know how boring it is. Long tones are the are the most boring part of practicing. Mm. So I agree, one hundred percent. 그 마지막 질문이 있는데 그 색소폰을 불때 이중턱 이렇게 네, 이렇게 어글리 근데 이렇게 약간 좀 이중턱이 안 생기고 이렇게 멋있게 부는 약간 팁이 있을까요? 저는 약간 어, 보여지는 것도 중요한 사람이라서. 네. Uh, <laughs> well, it's uh. I think I have, I have the triple chin, you know, for me. But I also have the, the I do this, I, I have my, my back is like, like that. So I don't know what's worse, like this or this, you know, it's, it's a, we were saying, it's, saxophone is a hazard to your health. Okay, it gives you arch back, it gives you double chin, it gives you blood here, you get bleeding lips. It's, it's very, you know, we, we should probably get, uh, extra money for, for all the stuff we have to go through playing sex. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And, and <laughs> Is it scotch? Scotch? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 I like scotch candy. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, the... 직접 만들었다. Handmade. Handmade mm. plan card. Oh. Handmade plan card. Uh, you name Korean name. What hand name? Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay. Oh, because oh. here, oh. I'm your forever fan. Take care of yourself. Made by Myungsun. Myungsun. Yeah. Myungsun. 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 Myungsun
<laughs> if I was working too hard, <laughs> and I ended up in the hospital and I couldn't I couldn't come. So that was right before uh, right before COVID, mm -hmm. and then we had to wait for COVID to get over. And uh, just it's it's so great to be back again. Um, it always takes, you know, a a brave promoter uh, to to bring someone somewhere for the first time. Uh, so this is my first time coming to, to Korea. Uh, well, first of all, I have to thank uh, Jay Nam Kung because uh, he, he's the person that made it happen. He believed in me and, and uh, was the promoter who put it all together. 이제 한국 공연을 시작하고 10년 이제 지났단 말이에요. 그러면 이제 월인일의 음악 스타일이나 선곡하는 그 방식이 변한 게 있을까요? Hmm, well, interesting question. A lot of my touring was in the U.S., Canada, South America, and there's certain songs that they play on the radio there. They did not play Hey Jude or My Love or Desperado. Those songs got played everywhere else in Europe and, and uh, in Asia. So coming to Korea for the first time um, and seeing this reaction to those songs, I was very excited because I love recording songs like that and and, and it gave me very uh, I was inspired I was excited and I said you know there is an audience that appreciates me doing that so I went into the studio and made an entire record of songs like that uh, classic rock songs on the saxophone and uh, songs like every breath you take by the police or we are the champions, we will rock you, walk this way, Aerosmith, and Fly Like an Eagle, and uh, you know, Steve Miller Band, and uh, Under Pressure, uh, Queen David Bowie, and it was, and a One Rush song, Tom Sawyer. It was so much fun to make that record. And, uh, and so then we, we actually debuted it when I came back to Korea, and I debuted the We Are the Champions song. Um, so yeah, that part of, of, my, of my show definitely changed because it, I almost have like one show that I do when I leave the United States, one show that I do in the United States and a whole other show that I do in the rest of the world, you know. Musicians and people that love this type, the type of music that I do, um, instrumental music and everything, it's really special people. Because I go all over, all over the world, you know, Europe and, and uh, South America, North America. And I've been to all over uh, Southeast Asia before, in Japan, and, but, but especially, especially in Korea, uh, very beautiful spirits, the people that are in. I, it's really profound for me what, what a warm feeling you get from the people here.
Teda ni, kamsanida, kamsanida, hangu. One more time. Teda ni, kamsanida, kamsanida, hangu. All the way. 살면서 본 공연 중에 제일 재밌다. 어 아무래도 마지막에 헤이즈드가 너무 마음에 와닿지 않았나. 순간 이렇게 뛰어댕기면서 올라가서 불었을 때울 뻔했어요. 다른 중학교 갔으면 못할 경험이었는데 좋은 선생님 만나서 이런 경험하게 돼서 좋은 것 같습니다. 아 진짜 이 갑자기 심장이 뜨거워지는 그런 공연이었습니다. 여름이 너무 멋져요. 어 저는 어린이 공연 처음 보는데 정말 CD를 듣는 것 같이 아 정말 좋았고 같은 엘프 모델이라는 게 자랑스러울 정도로 퍼포먼스적인 부분에서 굉장히 많은 거를 영광을 얻고 제가 10월 8일 날 저도 독주의 콘서트를 진행을 하는데 어린이보다 더 팔을 움직이도록 하겠습니다. 진짜 놀랬습니다. 전 평생 처음 봤거든요. 아 여태까지 왜안 왔을까? 10년 전에 왔었어야 됐는데 우리가 살면서 이런 무대를 설수 있을까? 이런 밴드와 이런 무대를 음향을 만날 수 있을까? 그런 어 되게 깊은 고민을 했습니다. 아 진짜 최고였어요. 이렇게 또 월요일 한번 인연이 돼가지고 계속 의리 있게 이런 또. 이게 긴 세월 동안은 이렇게 함께 하고 있습니다. 정말 락커다운 어, 정말 그런 그 진수를 보여주는 것 같아서 너무 만족스럽고 감동이었어요. 월요일 사랑합니다. 월요일 화이팅. 너무 멋졌어요. 월요일 화이팅. 깜짝 어, 손님이 지금 방문했습니다. 어, 나 이분이 또 오게 될 줄은 또 상상도 못했어요. 바로 소개해드릴게요. 연주로 우리에게 정말 아. 힐링을 주는 분입니다. 섹서포니스트 대기정 씨입니다. 대기정, 대기입니다. 대기정. 오랜. 이게 꿈이 아닌가 생각됩니다. 두 분을 이렇게 한 자리에서 볼수 있는 게 오늘 오르지 오랜을 덕보에게 뭐라도 할수 있으면 최선하겠습니다. 음. 와. <웃음> 아니 아까 인사가 응. 굉장히 친근하셔서 서로 이렇게 잘 알고 지낸 사이셨나요 평소에도? 저는 대학교 시절 때 어. 재즈만 좋아했을 때 아하. 이제 월힐 공연을 접근하게 됐어요. 음. 근데 와 악기 가지고 네. 이렇게 재즈의 다양한 음. 어, 장르를 음. 또 가능하는군요. 오. 제가 처음 알았거든요. 음. 그래서 공연 끝나고 음. 인사하고 근데 너무 친절하더라고요. 공연 끝나고 네. 저랑 거의 30분 정도 음. 네, 대화할 시간을 봤는데. 또 하고 그렇죠. 음. 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 평소에 선생님 그러세요? 이렇게 부를 때? 공연 때 이제 선생님이라고 해야죠. 어. 음. 네. 음. 연배도 있고 음. 학교 선, 어, 선배이기도 하고 음. 버클리 음대에서부터 이렇게 같이 이렇게 친구 아닙니다. 어, 10년 선배입니다. 10년? 네, 10년. 그러면 오. 선생님 소리 하도 되겠다. 그러네요. That you the member the first time that I met you. 음. I think it was Newport Beach. Everything I said about my feelings about Korea, Danny represents that, and he just had this incredible light, warmth, personality, manners. You know, you're very uh, so well spoken. You know, and uh, and then when I got to know you more, and I got to see what an amazing musician you are as well. You know, it was such an honor to have such a great musician, great talent. Respect me so much, <laughs> you know. Uh, it was it was great, man. Yeah. Wow, Warren 선생님, 이런 얘기를 말이라도 너무 어 믿을 수 없네요. 진심인 것 같아요. 어 사람이 너무 좋아요. 그냥 멘토 역할을 한 거예요. And what I've discovered is that uh, you're not only a great musician, but you are an amazing human being. And I believe uh, that that warm soul of yours. Uh, reflects your amazing musical presence, mm -hmm. even until today. That's the truth, bro. 두분 진짜 훌륭합니다, 진짜. 이번에 그 월요일 공연 때 게스트 출연하신. 아 게스트보다는 그 관객분들한테 리마인드 하려고. 10년 전에 월요일 공연 받은 분손좀 들어주십시오. 안녕하십니까. 월요일 아주 멋진 분이죠. 네. 아 많은 영향도 받았고 이런 분이 얼마나 중요한지 음. 아 그래서 오랜 선생님을 세우려고 어, 제가 그 자리 갑니다. 훌륭한 전에. He's a great player. He's a great musician. Thank you so much. 아유, 진짜 멋있다. Words can I explain? 생각이 너무 멋있네. 
how grateful I am to hear that. And those are two things, by the way. Great player, mm -hmm. but also, there's a lot of people that are great players, mm -hmm. but they're not great musicians. Mm -hmm. You know, they're maybe good musicians, but he's a great player and, and a great musician. Mm -hmm. You know, he has musicality. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
자또또한번또 정말 워렌 이어가 우리 엘프가 정말 끈끈한 인연이 음, 있습니다 음, 음, 음. 그래서 그 인연을 가지고 있는 우리 엘프의 회장님이시죠 어, 그렇죠. 예, 정말 모시기 힘들었습니다 음. 유영재 회장님 모시도록 아이고, 하겠습니다 아이고 한번 모셔볼게요 네 그렇죠 네, 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 <웃음> 오늘 정말 완전 빅 버라이티인데 빅 버라이티 지금 음. 보시는 분들은 갑자기 엘프 회장님이 왜이 자리에 나오셨을까 음, 음. 하지만 정말 회장님께서 실제로 섹스포니스트이십니다. 맞아요, 맞아요. 정말 저희가 엘프 그 콩세거시 하러 오면 음. 한쪽 부스에서 섹스폰을 계신가요? 아니 연주 연습을 연주도 굉장히 하시고. 많이 하세요. 연주를 정말 사랑하시는 분이신데 음. 음. 그런데 또이 회장님께서 월인 일에 완전 완전 빅빅빅빅 팬. I am your fan, big fan, big fan. <웃음> 대단히 감사합니다. <웃음> <웃음> 제가 어렸을 때부터 네. 락을 제가 좀 좋아했어요. 음. 비슷하시네요. 야. 예. 예. 제가 그 섹스폰을 배운 지가 지금 13년 여가 이제 되게 오래되셨어. 오시네요. 음. 이제 처음에는 락을 좋아해서 제 선생님 이선진 프로님한테 네. 제가 락을 좋아하니까 락 쪽에를 그 유명하신 분들의 그 곡을 이제 한번 초이스해 가지고 연습을 해 보자. 이렇게 했더니 월인일이 거기에 세계 최고의 락 섹스폰이었지. 아, 그때부터 이제 오렌지를의 그곡 중에서 제일 쉬운 것부터 데스페라도. 음. 아, 데스페라도 음, 음, 음. 그렇게 쉽지 않은데. 네, 쉽지는 않았어요. 그래 <웃음> 우리 선생님이 저를 가르치면서 굉장히 어려워해서 음. 많이 헤맸지만 그래도 그나마 오렌지를 곡 중에서는 쉬운 곡에 네. 속해서 한 5년 정도를 연습해가지고 음. 제가 30주년 저희 회사 창립 기념일에. 연주를 했어요. 라이브로 연주했죠. 네, 라이브로 우리 단장님하고 라이브 밴드 with him, him live band. You play too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <웃음> 우리 월인일께서는 유영재 회장님을 처음 봤을 때 느낌이 어땠어요? Oh, let's see. How many years ago? How long ago was that? Uh, what did you say? Over the ten years. Is it ten years? Oh, ten, ten years. I'm also entrepreneur. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I was in aerospace engineering before music. 같은 동지성을 느끼시면 원래 공학 박사 또 출신이신가? 아, 또 우주항공 그쪽을 또 전공을 하셨구나. 그래. 야, 그것도 인연이네. 오, 그러네요. And uh, so I, when I heard that you, you came up with this technology, yeah, I felt very uh, a kinship with you because I understand that how your brain works, you know. And then when I heard that you also play the saxophone, mm. then I got really scared because, no. uh, <laughs> you know, okay, if he can, if he can build, he's a scientist, he can build these, these, these things, and then now, of course, he can play saxophone as well. Is he going to be better than me mm. at saxophone? <laughs> <Not> a, <laughs> very, very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, saxophone, you can learn to play the s 우리 제품을 엉뚱하게 만들지 않을까. 제가 그 석석들이 그 이해를 해야 더 좋은 이렇게 맞습니다. 제품을 만들 수 있, 있겠다는 그런 생각을 해서 저도 어렵지만 그 용기를 내 가지고 이렇게 음. 시작을 했습니다. 했는데 하고 보니까 정말 잘했구나. 음. 월요일도 거기에 대해서 공감을 해 주시는 것 같아요. 그렇죠. 음. 이렇게 해서 태어난 게 이거 아닙니까? 이거. 네, 네, 맞습니다. 고맙습니다. 그러면 네. 그죠? 뭐또 어떻게 좀 난못해 주의 식 한번 얘기해 봐요. 우리 회장님 어렵게 모셨는데. 정말 회장님 정말 어렵게 모셨거든요. <웃음> 그럼. 연주를 또안 들어볼 수가 없어요. 아, 그럼요. 저희가 들어봐야죠. <웃음> 부탁드려도 될까요? 아, 네. 제가 이렇게 대단하신 이렇게 무대에서 네. 제가 연주를 해도 감이 될까 모르겠습니다. 모래 <웃음> 일을 위해서 멀리서 온 모래. 이렇게 일을. 연습을 하고 있다는 걸 네. 보여드리겠습니다. 이어서 마일러. 오, 예. 마일러.
와. 아, 정말 얼마나 많이 하셨을까? 와. 야. 야. 레슨을 받았습니다. 레슨을. 아, 레슨을 네. 받으셨어요? 굉장히 떨, 떨렸습니다. <웃음> <웃음> 오랜인 앞에서 하니까. 네, 레슨 받을 때 냉정하게. <웃음> <웃음> 저희가 공원이나 길거리에서 어느 날 갑자기 섹소폰을 연주하는 일반 대중분들이 갑자기 많이, 많이 늘었어요. 그 기반을 마련해 주신 게 바로 엘프의 유영재 회장님도 큰 역할을 음. 정말 해주셨고 음. 그렇게 함으로써 또 세계적인 아티스트의 워렌이를 또 한국에서 이렇게 공연도 할수 있게끔 음. 정말 기반을 마련해 주셨는데 저... 반죽이 덕분에 음. 한국에 정말 많은 아마추어 섹스폰 연주자가 생겼다는 음. 이런 사실을 알고 계시는지 그러니까 워렌이 네. 네. supporting uh, musicians supporting this this amazing instrument and helping people learn it and elevate their their abilities and uh, very honored that you, that you make the contributions that you do to, to allow me to come over here and do the concerts. So thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. 이런 콘서트를 하고 하는 거는 사실은 저희 이제 엘프가 대단하다기보다는 사람들이 섹스폰이라는 악기에 굉장히 심취하고 매력을 많이 느낍니다. 특히 우리나라가 네, 그래요. 우리나라가. 오. 세상을 밝게 만들고 따뜻하게 만드는 거에 도움이 될수 있는 게참 섹스폰 연주로구나. 또그 외에 다른 악기도 마찬가지 거라고 생각을 하지만 이제 해외에서 정말 또 이렇게 감동을 주는 그런 이제 연주자 분들을 모셔서 이렇게 콘서트를 하면서 같이 감동을 느끼고 감동을 네. 받고 고객분들한테 어떻게 하면 더 즐거움을 많이 드릴 네. 수 있을까? 그 생각이 저희 직원들하고 저는 굉장히 그 많이 생각을 하고 있습니다. 그래서 정말 저도 좋아하고 그러니까 워렌 열도 또 한국을 또 특별히 더또 좋아하는 것 같아요. 그래서 연주자들 음악을 사랑하시는 분들이 더큰 이렇게 감동과 즐거운 아, 네, 생활을 맞습니다. 했으면 좋겠습니다. 네. 감사합니다. 좋은 말씀. 네. 네. 저도 음악을 하지만 우리 워렌 씨가 정말 장시간 이 많은 시간을 같이 보내는데 정말 성의 있고 음. 이렇게 같이 응대해주고 하는 이런 이런 부분들이 제가 너무 감동을 받았어요. 정말 <웃음> 연주도 하시지만 음. 또 음악 페스티벌 기획자까지 크루즈 여행하면서 음악하는 거 저기 있잖아요. 아 그거 먼저 오라시니까 나 너무 놀랍네요. 우리나라도 지금은 되게 많고 크루즈 여행 그렇게 많이 하잖아요. 지금 많이 해요. 아 그걸 만드셨구나 창시자구나. Well, I started this in uh... We, we all know what Napster is, mm. right? Napster was back in 2004 or something. I can't mm. remember. Um, everything we worked for, um, our royalties and everything as musicians, as artists, was going to go away because now people can just get the music for free, you know, mm. on the internet. So I wanted to do something that uh, was involved with music and creative but a little more of a business, my own you know, entrepreneur business. So I started the world's first um, smooth jazz cruise so I, in 2004. And I uh, basically started it from nothing and it turned into a huge success uh, in one year. And I did that for four years. Um, and then I sold my, uh, my interest in it, decided I was gonna focus more on being a father because it was, I was trying to do my music and run a company. Mm. Um, and I, it, I, it was very difficult to do both. And also 
very important time of my daughter's life where I just, and we were still homeschooling, so I, I just couldn't do it all. And so I sold, sold the cruise. And um, then in 2015, um, Jazz Festival, the Cancun Jazz Festival, uh, was having a hard time, uh, was in trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I bought it. And we, they had 200 customers. Mm -hmm. And I built it into 2,000 customers and then 4,000 customers. And it just got bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing that for nine years uh, now. So I, I do enjoy, we just, a lot of great music happens and great moments. Ah. And so it's for, for the fans, it's like a music mm. vacation. Mm. And, uh, and for the musicians, it's a vacation as well. Mm. But, uh, but I enjoy doing it. 팬들한테 지금 많이 호응을 받고 있다고. 네, 그거 네. 싫어하는 사람이 어디 있어? 그러니까. 칠박 팔일 동안 놀러 다니면서 먹고 <웃음> 막 듣고 자고 하는 게 얼마나 재밌어, 아, 좋지. 네. 지금도 정말 세계적으로 많은 사랑을 받고 계시지만 정말 모레엔일께서는 어떤 사람이었다고 사람들이 기억했으며 하는. Um, I think just as a musician, uh, I I always. I want to put out music and, and have people believe that I, you know, I'm giving my all, like I'm giving it 100%, whether I'm making a record, whether I'm performing live. Um, you know, as a, as a jazz musician, you, you, sometimes you play for thousands of people and sometimes you play for 20 people, but you still put on the same show. You know, no matter what, you still put out the same energy. And uh, that's so as a musician, and all, and that I be remembered for, um, you know, really uh, the journey that I've been on as a musician. Because I've I started uh, my first record. I think that where I am now as an artist, I think I've moved and evolved a lot. And I hope that people recognize the journey that I went on, because it was it was a lot of uh, it's a lot of energy and thought goes into that. And then just as a person. Uh, you know, I've always just tried to be um, uh, like my father. You know, my father is my idol because he was uh, just a good man to his family, to his wife, to his community, and you know, just giving back uh, when there's no reason to, other than just it's the right, it's what it's the right thing to do. So as a person, I just I, I always do try to. Um, Think, think of others and everything that I'm doing and thinking, thinking that I'm creating small little things that you know, improve people's lives and enrich people's lives. Uh, even if it's just one person, you know, it, uh, you can make a difference in the world. So. That was not one word, that was a long sentence. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's been great being here. Thank you for having me. It was my best thing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Come some time. Thank you, thank you. <웃음> 네, 그렇습니다. 우리 음. 요정네들도 정말 행복한 시간 보내셨을 텐데요. 앞으로도 어린 일 많이, 더욱더 많은 사랑 부탁드리고요. 그 아무래도 정말 그 어린 일의 연주가 가장 행복하지 않을까 아유, 싶습니다. 뭐 그거 이상 있겠어요. 예, 마지막으로 어린 일의 음. 아름다운 연주 들으면서 저희는 다음 주 수요일 날또 다시 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 그래, 우리 요정님들 다음 주에 다시 만나요. 다시 만나요. 안녕.
my best day. Thank you, thank you. You said you wanna play your game. You dealt me in. I said I'll pick it up. It's all the same. Don't follow all the rules. I know you don't. You change day by day. Hardly seems that fair. How can anybody understand? How can anybody? 